we can change the centimeter into meter then 150 divided by 100 meter is equal to 1.5 meter now we can require that magnitude of force f and the direction of force now we using the formula by the coulomb's law coulomb's law state that f is equal to k q1 q2 upon r square here k is constant so its value is fixed k is equal to 10 9 multiply by 10 raised to power 9 now find the solution as we know that f is equal to k q1 q2 upon r square so force f is equal to value of k 9 multiply by 10 raised to power 9 multiply by value of q1 10 raised to power minus 5 multiply by 10 raised 5 multiply by 10 raised to power minus 6 divided by 1.5 square now solving this value we can find the solution f is equal to 45 divided by 2.25 multiply by 10 raised to power minus 2 this implies that f is equal to 0.2 newton here k is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught is equal to 9 multiplied by 10 raised to power 9 newton meter square per coulomb square so we can find the direction of force so traction of force is a repulsion no in result the given magnitude of force f is equal to 0.2 newton and direction of force is equal to direction of force is a repulsive force so this is called a force of repulsion or also called the force of repulsive now in next question question number three numerical problem question number three given statement is the force of repulsion between the two identical positive charge is 0.8 newton when the charge are 0.1 meter apart find the value of each charge now according to the given statement given data now q1 is equal to q2 that is equal to q because both have identical positive charge so q1 is equal to q2 that is equal to q and force f is equal to 0.8 newton the radius r is equal to 0.1 meter now required that the value of charge q using the formula according to the coulomb's law f is equal to k q1 q2 upon r square here k is a constant so k is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught that is equal to 9 multiplied by 10 is to power 9 newton meter square per coulomb square so in our solution we have using the formula of coulomb's law f is equal to k q1 q2 upon r square we can find the value of q so q1 and q2 are same this implies that q square is equal to r square multiplied by f upon k we can rearrange this formula in this form and calculate the value of q so putting the values 0.1 whole square multiplied by 0.8 divided by 9 multiplied by 10 to the power 9 that is equal to 8 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 9 multiplied by 10 to the power 9 so q square is equal to 0 0.888 
multiply by 10 raised to power minus 12. Now taking square root on both sides. This implies that q square whole square root is equal to 0 0.888 multiply by 10 raised to power minus 12 whole square root. This implies that q is equal to 9.42 multiply by 10 raised to power minus 7 column. So the answer of the identical charge point Q is equal to 9.42 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 7 column. Now in question number 4. So value of charge are given. Now we will move question number 4. In question number 4, given statement is that two charge repel to each other with the force of 0 0.1 Newton when they are 5 cm apart. Find the force between the same charges when they have 2 cm apart. Here, according to given condition, write the given data. Here, F is equal to 0 0.1 Newton when radius is R1 5 cm change centimeter into meter that is equal to 5 divided by 100. So R1 is equal to 0 0.05 meter. Now R2 is equal to 2 centimeter that is equal to 0 0.02 meter. Now required that the force F2 on the radius of R2. According to the given condition, write the formula. By the Coulomb's law, F is equal to K Q1 Q2 over R square. But here, two forces are given. So F1 is equal to K Q1 Q2 over R1 square. And F2 is equal to K Q1 Q2 over R2 square. Then in a solution, Dividing the equation 1 and 2, we have F2 divided by F1 is equal to R1 square divided by R2 square. We get this value of force. We can the find force F2. Here F1 is multiplied on other side. This implies that F2 is equal to F1 multiplied by R1 square divided by R2 square. Now we can putting the value and find the solution. As we know that F2 over F1 is equal to R1 square divided by R2 square. We can find F2. This implies that F2 is equal to F1 multiplied by R1 square divided by R2 square. That is equal to 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.05 square divided by 0 0.02 square. So F2 is equal to 0 0.62 Newton. So the final result of this question, F2 is equal to 0 0.62 Newton. Subscribe our channel for more videos. Best of luck.